Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We did not receive that Renato Sanchez footies card that we really wanted to see yesterday, but there are new rumors for a potential end of an era, messy SBC or objective. So I want to talk about the rumors around that card, what happened on the market yesterday because of that. Of course, yesterday's content with a new footies vote for a 99 rated Mane or Conte. We'll talk about that. There's some new pack code that was added tonight, heading into today on Thursday. And also, I want to take a look at that silver content that we had yesterday. New Week and League Plus requirements for silver cards, like the easiest 125k pack you will ever see inside of FIFA as well was released yesterday. So I want to talk about that and how in the world Thiago Mendes beat Toribo. Again, it must be the higher rating, man, even though it doesn't make sense the higher rating or the card that is first to show up, it literally seems to win for whatever reason. Now, we had Conte versus Mane for our new vote yesterday, and we will talk about that. But the first thing that I want to talk about today is this messy card. Again, it is total speculation. It is not guaranteed whatsoever. But people that usually have inside information about the game were talking yesterday about a messy um, transfer footies item, basically a transfer version. It's not really an end of an era. It's, it's either an end of an era or a footies transfer card. People didn't really describe it, but supposedly this is the leak that a 99 rated Messi is coming, right? As an SBC or an objective, whether it's a like new transfer to PSG or an end of an era, which right now he only has Barcelona cards still in FIFA. And I bought one today when its price went really, really, really low because of the panic of people seeing that news and hearing that information. Um, but honestly, what people are saying is it'd be a five-star skill Messi, four-star weak foot. It might be an objectives. It might be an SBCs. We really don't know until it comes out, right? I don't like to do a lot with leaks. I really don't. But this is worthy of being talked about because it would be an insane SBC or objective if this were to come out. So that's why you've seen all the messy cards fluctuating like crazy. Yesterday on the market, this guy started the morning at 1.26 mil, went all the way down to 980, right before content drop, which is when I bought the card, rebounded back to about 1.12, and is actually kind of going lower now into rewards, right? 1.04 on the market at the moment. So I'm keeping an eye on this card for sure. Again, I bought one for 990K. Um, I don't know if I expect this today or tomorrow, but people are saying that since it didn't come yesterday, it could be either today or tomorrow on Friday. That'd be a huge Friday content SBC and uh, transfer or an end of an era Messi. So that's the biggest thing that moved on the market yesterday. His TOTS card went crazy. It went from 560K all the way back up to 650,000 coins, literally like a 100K swing right there on that one. I didn't even look at the team of the year, but I'm sure the team of the year had a very same fluctuation as well. Panic selling to 900 and then spiked back to a mil. So a lot of panic selling and then rebuying on these messy cards, but still their prices are down, right? The prices are down from what they were, like this 99 Summer Stars. He was 1.2 mil. Now he's down to 1.04. He's in packs, gonna get supplied tonight from rewards. And also with that impending new messy card still out there is potentially coming, a lot of people are still not buying this card that they would wanna use and potentially waiting for that SBC or objective to come. But that was the huge, huge news yesterday. Actually, with all of the content that we had yesterday on FIFA, there was actually a lot of market movements. A lot of cards that were in packs actually went down. I bought an Acuna at 240 just to go and try out. I sold them at 270. Now, with rewards tonight, you might see some of these cards dip down a little bit lower. But EA gave out a lot of tradable packs yesterday. Now, the 125K pack that was an SBC um, was not tradable that was not a tradable pack i'm gonna look for it right now and find it silver stars farewell basically the last silver stars was released yesterday um and basically to commemorate that they released a 125k pack for free basically free just silver cards to turn in for it uh and this vidra car which is a silver stars with an insane footies boost this is like a 10,000 coin sbc super dope right i love this from ea sports that's great and then when you go to the objective section in here you had the very last Silver Stars, which is Hudson Adoy, 74 rated right wing. That's a really, really good looking card. A new objective set of Silver Sendoff, which by the way, I believe 
that this silver lining is was glitched. I don't know if it is anymore. Um, it says assist 25 goals, but it was only counting one per game, even though if you did more. So I think if this gets fixed up, yes, you have to play 15 matches with 11 silver players in your starting squad, but it really only is three games of objectives in division uh, rivals or probably squad battles like most of you guys would do it in and then if you go into friendlies with a friend you go in they quit out and then you get these 15 matches done pretty quick it's not that hard of a grind for a nice set of packs and an ultimate pack as the reward so that was out yesterday and the silver beast that's not the one i'm looking for silver weekend league plus win two four or six games of weekend league using a full squad of silvers as you're starting 11. Now, the first thing when this was dropped yesterday, it was only available for a week. And I said, AO EA Sports, why would you overlap the League One Weekend League and the Silver Weekend League? But the thing is, they ended up changing it. As you can see, the time frame is 19 days, 13 hours. So for the next two weekends, if you do play with Silver teams, if you get six wins, you will get three additional player picks. So, you know, it's going to be hard unless you match up against the team that has using silvers as well. This is probably going to come into play more of next weekend, I think. Next weekend's Weekend League, if people really want to grind out Weekend League Plus for League One, you know, maybe they'll get this done. I guess the only bad part about this is since it's 19 days and 13 hours, and it's not like it doesn't reset, I don't think, at least it doesn't look like it, then you only are able to do it once. You're only able to do it once. Um, I guess technically, since it's out for 19 days as well, you could win one game this weekend league with silvers, win one uh, weekend league game next weekend with silvers, and that would count for two, I guess. So if you really want to spread them out and piece them together, you've got 19 days to get six wins in foot champs. So take it or leave it. Um, those are some other player pick opportunities that we had. Also, we had that Thiago Mendes SBC, which is just shocking, right? It's just shocking. I really thought that the main man, Todibo, is going to win. And whatever I really think a card is going to win, they never do, right? So I'm going to stop guessing, man. But the problem with that is there's a card that I really want to win in this next vote, and it's Conte. I really, really, really want to see Conte get a 99-rated card because that was the vote that was dropped yesterday between Mane and Conte. The winner would get a 99-rated Footies SBC. Now, seems great, right? Seems fantastic. And this is a great graphic by Foot Trader J putting together what these cards could look like, both as 99 rated. But you vote for the card, then you got to do the SBC. And we've seen how expensive Abamyang is. We saw how expensive Zaha was. I think whoever does end up winning this SBC on Friday, it's going to be very, very expensive. Now, a lot of people want Conte to win, right? So many people want Conte to win because they feel like he has not had a good special card this year based off how well he has played uh, for Chelsea and for uh, the short run that France had in the Euros. I think people thought that Conte needed a footies card, and I guess here's our opportunity, right? So I think a lot of people are voting for Conte, but again, with Mendez winning this vote, with Zaha winning the vote earlier, some of the other vote winners that we have seen, it's just been the higher rated card ends up winning. I know that Conte is a very big name in football. I know that Mane is a very big name in football. I really want Conte to win this. I think Mane could though. For me, it's honestly 50-50. I could see either player winning, but to be completely honest, whatever SBC does come out on Friday, it's probably going to be expensive. It's probably going to be 10 plus squads, maybe even like 15 to 20 squads if they keep with the same format. So I mean, be prepared to grind for whatever card does come out, but that'll be a nice, that'll be a nice SBC regardless of who it is. It'll be a really, really stacked up card. And that was all the content yesterday. It was a pretty busy day. They re-released the 87 times 10, which was nice. It is nice that SBC is back out with the exact same requirements. Um, and there was a, there was honestly a lot. It was a quantity day of content inside of FIFA 21. Now today on Thursday, we're looking ahead into today, of course, those messy end of an era SBC rumors are alive and well, right? Now I'm going to hold on to my messy. I think I mentioned this, but I'm going to hold on to this post rewards today. Hope that he rebounds back up past rewards. And if he doesn't, it is what it is because this is one of the best cards in the game. And I will gladly put him in my club and try him out for a few more games. But um, if there is a Messi that comes today, or obviously there's going to be more rumors of Messi coming, I think most people expect that on Friday. Again, it's rumors. It's not guaranteed. I think a lot of us would love to see it. 
but we'll actually see what happens as that comes out. Um, just kind of watch for panic selling on that card today, his team of the year, his team of the season. I would expect more of that on the market in all honesty. Um, as we head into today on Thursday, of course, with rewards, you just see a lot of TOTS cards get supplied. And this is technically the first day of weekend league rewards that we have Path to Glories and the Summer Stars items in packs. And as I take a look at some of these prices on the market right now, like this Havertz is down a decent amount, 180s. It looks like there's people are people are selling these off as we head into rewards, right? Cavani, 55K, that is down. Chiesa, 116, that is down. Kane, Lukaku are pretty low. Um, team number one, where Charleston's pretty cheap. Again, that Messi is down a decent amount. Just taking a look at through at some of these items, looks like people are preparing for reward supply today and selling them off a little bit. Pog was kind of low. Militao was lower. Um, also, you had some, again, just the tradable pack supply yesterday from a couple of those SBCs. Knock these cards. Foden is down a bit. Yup. Verratti is still down low. Griezmann, 132. Llorente, 220. So watch these cards today at Weekend League Rewards because I do think they could bounce back up a little bit. Some of them could. And of course, you've got Team of the Season cards that are still in red picks. Watch these League One players as, of course, they are in demand for the Weekend League. So keep an eye on these guys for sure today as something that could be moving on this market of course now one other thing that we're expecting today is this right here a new tweet footwatch tweeting in august man new pack code a five times 91 plus rated rare players pack now of course we've had the 88 times five we had a 90 times five and right here this 91 times five could be pretty awesome. Again, it's specific to Footy's Team 3. If you read here at the top, contains five players, 91 or higher, from Footy's Team 3, which you there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential from this pack right here because, of course, you've got Path to Glory cards, which most of them are 91 plus anyway, but you're going to weed out some of the cards like a Gullivan. He would not be included in this. You look at Team 2, you would not have a Klosterman or a Nandez. Uh, included in this as well. You look at some of the Summer Stars items, you know, a lot of these cards are above 90, so you'd still have guys like uh, Bravo, maybe not the most meta card that you would want to pack. Romero, 91 rated, still 16,000 coins, but it's a times, there's five different players in the pack. Um, and I mean, this, this pack could be a really, really fun one. So if you have some higher rated fodder, maybe don't put it into an 87 times 10 after rewards today, or if you get some red picks or whatever, Maybe save it for this, because if this is in the code right now, I think this will be coming out today on Thursday. This is more of a Thursday content thing. I guess it could come out on Friday. We'll have to see. I don't remember when like the 90 times 5 and the 88 plus times 5 came out in weeks past. But since this is in the code tonight, I think there's potential that it would be coming out today on this Thursday. So that's kind of a pack. If you wanted to maybe buy some fodder ahead of time for it, I guess... Um, I would just maybe buy a team of the season card or two today during rewards, buy a couple 86s, maybe buy an 87 or two. I mean, shoot, just go buy an 89. They're all 12,000 coins, 15 K for not 17 K for 92 rated cards in this game is unbelievable. I mean, 93s are 20,000 coins a piece as well. You might as well just go out and buy a couple of these at rewards today on bid put them in your club, and then boom, you're basically ready for when this SBC comes out. I think this SBC would maybe be like an 87, 86 or 87 rated squad, maybe even 88, or it'll be multiple different SBCs. But what that's probably going to do is actually push up the lower tier end of the fodder market. 83s are down a little bit from where they were. Uh, <clears throat> where's 84s? I would really watch this part of the market because, of course, if it's an 88, 87 rated squad, you're going to have a lot of people easily able to buy high rated TOTS cards or turn them in, but they're going to have to finish off the rest of their squad with some lower rated items. So maybe get on some of the bids today during rewards, maybe some of your 82s, even 81s who are down in price a little bit from where they were. 83s at 5K, 84s at 7K, definitely not low, but lower. And then potential to rise, of course, with that five times uh, 91 plus that'll be a really really fun pack to open later on today we'll be opening those on stream if and when they do come out we'll be looking at that messy hype weekend league rewards and seeing what happens today on our thursday inside of fifa 21 so fifa's kicking me out of ultimate team man so that's probably a sign to end the video but if you did enjoy the video today make sure you leave a like on it and comment down below if you do have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it has been nate the photo accountant i will catch you guys later peace
out.